Right now, all across the mainstream media, there are election experts, political pundits, and newscaster personalities who are scratching their heads at why Kamala Harris feels so confident about November. She's trying to give off this aura of joy and happiness, like everything is pretty much already decided. And they're wondering, where is she coming from on this? What does she know? Now, many have come to my channel and said, well, Maki, it's all staged. It's all a Hollywood game. It's all hype. Well, that's kind of what politics is anyway. But many have also said, Florida Maki, don't you think you've been a little bit unfair lately to Mr. Trump? Well, that might be a fair allegation. Later on in this video, I'm going to give him a great deal of credit for something that even CNN is talking about now. It's something going on that has been flying under the radar. So stick around till later on in the video, and I will give Mr. Trump all sorts of kudos for something that he did a while back that nobody seems to want to talk about. But as far as Miss Harris goes, she's got a nuclear weapon. She's got a nuclear weapon in her pocket that she can use anytime, and it will absolutely end the race as soon as she uses it. It's something that Biden didn't have. He might have tried to use it, but there's no way he could have eloquated it quite nearly as good as she's going to be able to. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Mr. Trump needs to find a way to get out of these debates. He could take a page out of her playbook and just ignore the media for the next couple of months. Do your own thing. Do your own rallies. Make your own statement. Everybody knows who you are. I think everybody knows who Miss Harris is. But there's something going on. Florida Maki, what do you mean a nuclear weapon? There's something she's going to be able to bring up that will end it. That will end all discussion of it, and he'll never be able to recover from it. And no, it's not his business dealings. Nobody cares about his business records. But there is something else they do care about. Battlefield of the mind. Florida Maki, why is nobody talking about this? Well, the left wants to keep it secret because they want it to be a surprise nuclear weapon. And on the right, if they would bring it up, it would cause enormous amounts of damage because there's no way to counter it. And there's a lot of guys out there that are like, yeah, we know what you're talking about, Maki. Once you have that thing hung around your neck, it's over for you in life and in so many other ways. Even Mr. Trump isn't going to be able to get out of this one now. Also, real quick, would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who has filed in over at the Florida Maki Patreon channel. Got a brand new video up just yesterday. Lots of folks commenting on it. Lots of folks getting involved in it. Um, those of you, the handful of you that are over there at actually the uh, unit commander and brigade commander levels, we are going to be putting up a video this week. We're going to start doing the monthly briefings, as was promised. So much has changed. Every time I would get to a point where I thought I had a briefing all set, I had to rip it up. Things have been changing so fast. But we are. Brigade commanders, unit commanders, um, even those of you at the $5 level, we're going to have some new content. Believe me, it's going to be worth the see. Now, if you're on the fence about this, it's fully refundable. And it's only $1, not per video. Not per week, per month. Full access over there to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos for a buck. Now, if you'd like to pay less than a dollar a month, meaning literally just pocket change, three pennies a day, love to have you. Just sign up for a year. But it's all, like you said, 90-day fully refundable. Love to have you. Trust me, the information over there is something you're going to want to see. Now, some of you might have seen this blurb flash across the uh, news feed today. Record 60,000 home deals crash in July amid election fears. 60,000 people decided to not pull the trigger on buying a home because of the uncertainty. Well, think about basic economics 101, basic free market principles 101. What happens now when 60,000 homes that were going to be off the market now go back onto the market. 
What do we know about supply and demand? Increased supply causes what? Price to go down. That's right. And the more houses that stay on the market and stay on the market and stay on the market, the more the price is going to go down. We're having this issue here in Florida. So many people cried about, what is Ron DeSantis going to do about the price of homes? What is he going to do to make things cheaper? So Ron DeSantis actually does something to fix the problem. Tries to increase the supply of homes here in Florida. Opening up some new areas for development. And then the same people who are crying about home prices now are crying like, oh no, the brown-breasted, blue-footed booby and the yellow-bellied, red-crested lake loon were just starting to mate in those areas. And it's just ridiculous. There's more... And people don't think this, but I live here. Trust me. There is so much wild land. And even in areas that are developed, like where I live, there are trees and strips of trees and woods everywhere. The reason we have pool enclosures in Florida is because so much wildlife would be in your swimming pool if you didn't have a screened-in enclosure that it would make keeping a clean pool impossible. They don't have these pool enclosures like we have in Florida in, say, California and Arizona because we literally live amongst the wildlife here. But I digress. Zillow. Something that I had been talking about for the last couple of years Really getting a lot of folks' nose bent out of joint about it. Talking about what people are having to do to try to survive. Well, I'm going to give my audience some credit here. You are right. You are correct about something. Some have said, Florida monkey, I don't care what would ever happen, how much money I would ever need. I would never, I would never, oh, never join OnlyFans. Okay. Okay. You're right. Zillow commercial I saw roll across TV. Three full-grown adults getting together to buy a house. Three full-grown adults with full-time jobs, full-time incomes, educated, needing to pool all of their resources to get together to buy a house. Well, what does this mean? Well, okay. This is exactly the argument that I got back at me. And okay, I agree. Some would say, you know what, I would double up, I would triple up, I would quadruple up. I would do whatever I could to pool resources to make it cheaper for everyone so that nobody had to do anything like, say, OnlyFans. Okay, I agree. So when it comes down to, in America, the moral argument or the financial independence argument, more people are choosing the moral argument than the financial independence one, meaning... You know, perhaps if one of these girls had an OnlyFans account on top of their regular job, they could afford to have the house all by themselves. But that's not what's happening here. No, I'd rather get a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house with two other roommates and we just each all have our own bedroom and have the bills be less. Okay, fine with that. Totally fine with that. So morality, morality over money. Morality over money. Now, Florida Marquis, what great story, but what does this have to do with morality is going to win the day over money? Morality over money. See, nobody cares that Mr. Trump got convicted of for falsifying business record, blah, 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 over inflating price of nobody cares. Nobody cares, but they do care about this. This is a woman named E. Jean Carroll. And to be clear, a judge clarifies, yes, Trump was found to have raped E. Jean Carroll. Now there's the legal definition and the understanding of the word. After Donald Trump was found liable for sexually abusing and defaming E. Jean Carroll, his legal team and defenders lodged a frequent talking point. Despite Carroll's claims that Trump had quote-unquote raped her, they noted the jury stopped short of saying he committed that particular offense. Instead, jurors opted for a second option, sexual abuse. Now, every woman out there is like, okay, that's a distinction without a difference, isn't it? This was a rape claim. This was a rape case all along, and the jury rejected that and made other findings. Lawyer Joe Tacopina said outside the courthouse, a judge now has clarified that this is basically a legal distinction without a real-world difference. He says that what the jury found Trump did was, in fact, rape. Now, I can't read the rest of this because 
It might already have demonetized me just for saying the word, but look this up. Once she drops this bomb, once she drops this bomb in a debate that I'm debating against a convicted rapist, and she'll call him that, and the media will let him, let her, and it's not something he can sue her for. Even if she decides, you know what, I'm going to err on the safe side. A convicted, a felon and a convicted sexual abuser. I don't care what he says. Ask any man out there who's ever da- you know, gone this route in court. You're done. You're toast. It's over for you. And like, and like I said, you know, it's not, you know, what about the economy, monkey? What about the border? Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to care. I mean, his hardcore voters are going to vote for him no matter what. Her hardcore voters are going to vote for her no matter what. But everybody in the middle, when it comes down to morality versus money, she's going to nuke him. Mark my words. And there's nothing Tulsi is going to do about it. There's nothing Tulsi Gabbard is going to help Mr. Trump figure out about her that is going to fix that. Nothing at all. Now, you may believe it. Well, Trump, I don't don't believe Trump did that. I don't believe Trump did that. You may not. You may not, and a few others may not. But the fact is, a judge did believe it. A judge did believe it. And it happened a long time ago. And it happened long before he was a Republican. It happened when he was a Democrat. So, once again... There's no comeback for this. Ask any guy out there. There's, there is no way to explain to anyone that ever has any weight why, well, you got taken into court for doing what he did and then getting convicted of it. It's just over for you. But Florida Monkey, you said you were going to give him credit for something. I am. I am. Operation Warp Speed. What? Opera, you mean the vaccine? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I hope everyone remembers when they're getting the COVID-19 vaccine that if I wasn't president, you wouldn't be getting that beautiful shot for five years at best and probably wouldn't be getting it at all, former President Donald Trump. CNN Health. New COVID shots are coming available. Here's what experts say about when to get yours. Newly updated vaccines against COVID-19 will be in pharmacies soon, just as the U.S. is experiencing a surge of infections. But it is, oh, let's get, hold on. Here we go. Biden inherited a modern medical miracle in Operation Warp Speed. Three vaccines delivered in less than a year. An unparalleled vaccine distribution network. Do not let Joe Biden take a single a bit of credit for the vaccine. Okay, fair enough. Let's give Trump credit where credit is due. And I'm just saying he asked for it. He asked for the credit, and I'm giving him credit for it. Experts say, let's see where U.S. experienced a surge of infections, but it's a good idea to get in line for a new shot pronto. Or should you wait a few weeks to get optimal protection against a possible winter wave? Huh. A COVID wave is coming. Experts say it depends on your health, whether you've recently had COVID-19, which vaccine you plan to get, and when it's convenient for you. Dr. Carlos Del Rio says, it's a not a straight answer. A distinguished professor of medicine at Emory University and expert on infectious disease. We're in the midst of a huge wave. Many people, including yours truly, have had COVID, he said. For that reason, he's going to hold off on getting the updated shot. Quote, if you had it in the last three months, I would wait. There's no need to get a vaccine because you have, in a way, you've been vaccinated by the current strain. Huh. So... You can get protection from, nah, he couldn't have possibly meant, never mind. On the other hand, if you haven't recently had COVID, and especially if you're 65 or older, quote, I would get it as soon as possible, Del Rio said. The same is true for people with underlying health conditions that put them at higher risk for serious outcomes of a COVID infection. Just who are the people at highest risk of hospitalization or death? Dr. Paul Offit, director of the Vaccine Education Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and a member of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Vaccine Advisory Committee says people who are getting really sick with COVID mostly fall into four groups. 
Basically, the groups are immunocompromised, people with medical conditions like obesity and diabetes. Uh, Group three is pregnant people. Group four is elderly, as we know. If you haven't been recently infected, the new boosters matter a lot. The current variants of COVID differ substantially from last winter's variants, and this year's boosters are matched to the new variants. So it's time to get your get your new variant shot. Ramney, uh, Rainey pardon me, noted that the updated mRNA shot from Pfizer and Moderna will probably be available first with Novavax's vaccine coming a few weeks. Well, I wouldn't wait. Golden rule of vaccination is know thyself. Hmm, that's somewhat of a change. Given the fact that the mRNA vaccines are not very durable, not as durable as we'd like, we should be doing twice a year vaccination. Well, doesn't that sound smart? That just sounds like a great idea to me. What do you think? Twice a year vaccination, he said. And then the question is, do the companies have the bandwidth? Hmm, the 5G bandwidth to make more than one vaccine every year. And so that's going to be the next set of questions. So, just saying, as promised, I'm giving Mr. Trump credit for something. Operation Warp Speed. He asked for people to remember to give him credit for it, and here we are in late 2024, and I'm still giving him credit for it. Facts first. Read that right off CNN's website. No misinformation there unless CNN's guilty of it, and I'm just echoing what they said, but I'm sure they had somebody check their article, and it wouldn't have gone out onto the website without approval. So, I will leave that there. You were right. I was wrong. I admit it. Morality trumps morality. Kind of an odd way to say that, I guess. Morality trumps money. Morality trumps money. Young professional women would rather group up and get all their finances together to get a house and, you know, I guess uh, eat takeout pizza on the boxes instead of buy furniture rather than go another route and make a bunch of money and have your own house and have your own furniture and be independent. Okay. To each their own. To each their own. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. All of your support, God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me, I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Join us on Patreon. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.